we finally moved. So now's a great time to reflect on where I've been, where I'm going, and what help I need from you. And before I left my corporate job three years ago, I wanted to do three things. The first was to explore this idea of the good way in the context of starting a business and writing a book. And the second one was to change the world uh, in a positive way. And thirdly, I wanted to explore my creative side. So let's have a look at how I've done on each of them so far. The key thing is that I'm doing something that I really believe in. Uh, it feels authentic to me. And uh, the good luck is less about um, the trappings of success in a pleasant environment like this, and, and more about uh, doing what you care about and making a difference to people around you. And certainly, uh, 100% uh, had the opportunity to do that. I've been very fortunate. Be constantly humbled by people reaching out to say that these videos or the book uh, have helped them in a positive way. So I really appreciate that. Of course, I'd like to go further and, and faster and have a bigger impact. So my scorecard for the, the kind of good life uh, is a check mark against that. I've got a tick against that. But of course, I'd like to do more and have more impact than what I'm doing. Now, the second thing I wanted to do is to change the world. In my book, I wrote about wanting to uh, help those that lost all hope. You know, those folks that have dropped out the bottom of the system and maybe were homeless, uh, didn't have enough to eat, and, and certainly didn't see much light at the end of the tunnel. But the way that I set out to do that was actually indirectly by working on the system itself and promoting a cultural change or a change in values, and that is by engaging with professionals such as yourself watching these videos. Now there was a neat overlap there between my own personal transformation and the change that I wanted to see in the world, which was first a journey to, to know yourself and be more authentic, and then to radiate out or express yourself from that point to make a change in the world. In my old job, it was less clear to see uh, how what I was doing, you know, helping big companies make more money, directly contributed to making the world a better place. So I decided to change up uh, in terms of a scorecard, in terms of how I've been going on changing the world. Well, I think I've been aligning my activities in the right way. Uh, I've been making videos, writing articles, uh, the book, the podcast, that are all promoting the different ways of living, uh, more authentic and creative ways of living that make the world a better place for others around. Now, in terms of impact, um, I've been lucky enough and, and I'm honoured to get personal feedback from people that have engaged in all these different materials and said that it's made a difference for them or at least it's got them thinking in a different way. In terms of making a much bigger impact, really uh, to make my vision of changing the world a reality, um, I need you. I need to uh, get you on board and help you with your own personal transformation and then multiply that by a hundred or a thousand or a million um, professionals around the world that are make, taking their own journey to uh, authenticity, creativity and personal transformation, etc. Thirdly, I wanted to explore my creative side. And there's a number of reasons why my kind of creativity, uh, creative exploration was down the list. Although it had some inklings that um, I enjoyed creative work and that I might, uh, in quotes, unquote, be creative. I was a little earlier on in that journey and didn't really legitimise that part of what I wanted to do because, you know, coming from a serious world of management consulting, the idea of going from there to writing a movie or music uh, seemed like too far a stretch. I spent my first year after quitting my job uh, writing a book, writing The Good Life book. So all of my energies were really focused into doing that. And, and in fact, that became a job, something that I felt that I really needed to do. And I was dedicated uh, to doing uh, with, with all of my energy and time. It was only after I'd finished the book and, and uh, the, the pressure was off, so to speak, that the door opened to more creative pursuits. In fact, I went straight into a podcast uh, interviewing people from arts, business and, and community or social sectors about life and enjoyed that immensely. And over time, what's happened is I've, again, legitimized my, uh, the creative expression more and more. And that's become, in fact, central to the number one and two on the list of things that I want to do. In a future episode, I think we'll probably talk about this a little bit more, which is what do you really want? Do you want a good life? Do you want a peaceful life free of stress? Or do you want to feel alive and feel that burning desire to chase down an ambitious goal? Or do you want a bit of both? And, and maybe that's possible as well. So where that ended up is that I've been almost surprised at myself that as I got deeper and deeper into my own business and other expressions, 
and I've got to know myself better and work in different ways. The creative aspect to my life is really, I think, one of the most personal and one of the ones that I really want to pursue the most. And that's that's really informed my thinking about uh, complete what I want to do with that. Um, you know, I'm thinking about you uh, watching this uh, in your office and maybe far along in your creative journey or mm, alternatively not seeing yourself as creative at all. I think that's one of the biggest areas that I can help people unlock their creative potential and their potential um, just by equipping you with a, a basic creative toolkit that lets you achieve, think in different ways, um, imagine different possibilities and then execute on those with some creative tools to help you along the way in uh, building your creative confidence, etc. So that's a wrap for uh, this video. Um, I hope you've got something out of it. Um, what I'm really trying to do from now on is to really um, talk about what I've attempted to do, why I've tried to do it, the feedback I've got from that, how I've adjusted, because I think that's a lot more useful. Um, there's a lot of information buzzing around the internet about uh, you know, how to write a book, but the fact is that 99.9% .9 of you will not write a book, not because you don't know which publisher to pick for it to self-publish, etc., etc., and you can't get the cover design right, it's because you're stuck way, 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 way back at the start, which is just starting, you know, getting the idea together, having confidence in yourself, that you can get going and um, being on the other side of those things, having written and published a book and uh, done a podcast and done a video series, I kind of want to go back and share my experiences with you of how that felt a lot earlier on in the process. And hopefully by doing that, that will inspire you to take further steps. Until next time, all the best.